the stages of labor. Let's hash it out. What is going on, baby bloomers? I am Ursula, and I am here today to talk about the stages of labor. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Look, I'm having coffee. Mm, and cookies. I'm a firm believer that every mother, no matter how old your child is, if your child's a baby and newborn, I, I don't know, you deserve coffee and cookies in your life. That's just a fact. So, indulge, ladies, indulge. Mm. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna stumble upon my words today. Forgive me, I am tired. But let's get to them. The first stage of labor begins with your contractions when you start having them, and it ends when you're 10 centimeters dilated. So basically, during that time, you're dilating. That's where the first stage is. The second stage is the pushing stage. At this time, your contractions spread apart a little bit more and they last between 60 to 90 seconds. The pushing stage can last anywhere between 20 minutes to three hours. Yeah, you heard me right. You can be pushing your baby out for three hours. That's a thing that could happen. No big deal, you guys. Don't get scared. The last stage is a stage in which you deliver the placenta. So your uterus begins to contract and shrink to expel the placenta so that it can come out placenta. And there you go. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the pain of labor. So I think a lot of women get horrified when they hear, oh my gosh, so and so is in labor for 20 hours. I can't do that. It's just too painful. When people say that they were in labor that long, they were not in excruciating pain that long. Your contractions begin at a certain point and they start to pick up. And really all the time in between contractions, you're most likely gonna be pain free. I don't want you to be afraid of labor and be afraid of the pain that you're gonna feel because the pain of labor is normal. And it's just something that needs to happen in your body for you to get your baby out. You guys, do you have any idea of what your body is doing to get your baby out? At the, at the end of your uterus, there's your cervix, right? And so your, your uterus is literally contracting to pull the cervix into itself. That's what your body is doing. It's gotta be painful. It's a giant muscle that's pulling the end of itself up to make room for your baby. Can't be, it can't be easy, you know? And that's why it's called labor. But don't be afraid of it. It's just normal. The pain in labor is normal, it's good. Throughout our lives, we've been conditioned to think that pain is bad. I'm, because it makes sense, right? I mean, you put your hand on a hot stove, you feel pain, you take it out. For the majority of times in life when you feel pain, it just means that something is wrong. But the pain in labor is different. It just means that your body is working the way it's supposed to to get your baby out. So don't be afraid of it, you guys. Don't be afraid of it. It's totally normal. Look, I was in labor for 21 hours and my contractions started at six in the morning. I gave birth at 3.30 in the morning the following day. In the beginning, they really just felt like period cramps that would come and go periodically. And it wasn't until towards the end of the night that they started really getting closer together and more painful and more intense. It's okay, you guys. It's just your body doing its job. Don't be afraid of it, okay? I know that you can do it. I know that you can handle labor because I did it. And if I did it, really anyone could do it. Okay, you guys. And here's today's cutness factor. Whoosh. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> 